the Loran aid to navigation has proven to be the most efficient and quickest method of obtaining a fix over water. This film will show you some of the techniques used in Loran. The greatest problem in using Loran is at night when sky waves predominate. This illustration will point out the various types of Loran waves. The ground wave follows the curvature of the earth and is received both day and night. The other signals, the one hop E, the two hop E, the one hop F, and the two hop F are sky waves which are reflected from the ionosphere and are most predominant at night. The next illustration shows you a typical scope return of a sky wave train. The first signal on the scope represents a ground wave if within ground wave range. The one hop E sky wave is always second on the scope. It has a greater distance to travel than the ground wave, but a lesser distance than the others. The two hop E is the third signal on the scope for the same reason. So it is with the one hop F, and the two hop F. The next important consideration is the range of your ground and sky waves. To illustrate this, we will use a typical station pair. Here is the master station and the slave station. The normal range of a ground wave at night is a radius of between 450 and 550 nautical miles. Next is the sky wave range. Normally, the range of the one hop E is 1400 nautical miles. Now, here are some rules to remember. First, when possible, always match two ground waves. If ground waves are not available from both stations, match one hop E sky wave. Occasionally, it may be necessary to match a ground wave with a sky wave. It becomes necessary to match a sky wave with a ground wave when the aircraft is outside ground wave range of one station and too close to the other station to use sky waves. Sky waves are never used within 250 nautical miles of a station. With the information we now have, let's go on an actual flight to see some of the techniques that a Loran navigator uses. Most aircraft used for overwater flying are equipped with Loran. This aircraft is flying a mission somewhere off the coast of Florida. You, as a navigator, have decided to obtain a Loran fix. First, determine your approximate position by dead reckoning. Next, locate a station pair that you will use. Your DR position indicates you are within ground wave range of the slave station, but only within sky wave range of the master station. Now you know what to expect on the scope. You're on function one, position your signals. Function two, turn up the gain and identify the signals. Notice the small, unusable ground wave pulse to the left of the strong one hop E on the lower trace. Also notice the stable ground wave from the slave station on the top trace and the one hop E behind it. Function three, superimpose and align signals. Function four, take rough reading. 
Function 5, take fine reading. To this, add 100 microseconds for the inherent delay that is in the APN9 Loran set. The time difference reading is now 1663 microseconds. Record this on a piece of paper. Now locate another station pair. Notice that these stations are not within normal ground wave range. You can expect to receive only sky waves from both stations. Function 1, position your signals. Function 2, turn up the gain and align the fading one hop E sky wave. Function 3, superimpose and align signals. Be patient and ensure that signals are properly aligned before going to function 4. Function 4, rough reading. Function 5, fine reading. The reading is 3,276 microseconds, corrected for the 100 microsecond delay. Now, choose the third station pair. These stations are also outside the normal ground wave range. Once again, you can expect only sky waves. Function 1, position your signals. Function 2, align the two one-hop E sky waves. Function 3, superimpose and align signals. Notice the splitting and fading characteristics of the skywave signals. Again, be patient and ensure that signals are properly aligned before going to function 4. Function 4, rough reading. Function 5, fine reading. The reading is 1249 microseconds, corrected for the 100 microsecond delay. Now apply the necessary corrections to your reading. The correction is taken from a chart like this because a ground wave was matched with a sky wave on your first station pair. Your sky wave was obtained from the master station 600 miles from your position. The correction is 71 microseconds and it's added to your reading. On the second and third station pairs, you match the sky wave. Sky wave corrections for one hop eve are taken directly from the Loran chart. 186 is the second station pair. The correction is plus 12. On the third station pair, your sky wave correction is minus 14. After corrections are applied to the basic readings, plot the LOPs. When getting a Loran fix at night, use three or more stations if possible. This film has shown you some of the methods used to obtain a Loran fix. Loran is as good as the navigator who uses it.
A thorough knowledge of Loran theory and the ability to interpret the scope is the secret to accurate Loran results.